Here's a couple things we found out when we bought our home uh, in Blue Water Bay back in 2019. Number one, get your paperwork to your lender as fast as you can, right? Like this is kind of just a known fact, but literally getting that, the faster you get it to them, the easier the entire transaction is gonna be. The second thing that we found out after closing was we decided to gut the house. Literally, we were taking it down to the studs in certain areas, removing fireplaces and you know, moving walls, making a bigger closet. It was a complete and total remodel. Um, and what we found was be prepared for surprises, okay? So when we removed one of the fireplaces, they had, they had pulled the mantle down and behind that, a piece of the drywall had pulled off. We didn't intend to pull this piece of drywall off and it came off and we found termites, live termites. Yes, we had a termite inspection prior to, but like they can't go inside the walls, right? There was no visible signs anywhere inside the home that we had any active termites, but they were there. And that was something that we had to face. So what we did, we decided to do, we had to take out that entire wall, right? And get down to the source and we called our termite guy immediately, had him come out. We ended up finding the source of the termites were literally inside of the chimney, okay? Because we were removing that chimney because we're getting rid of the fireplace. When we found these termites living in this chimney, it was the most insane thing you've ever seen. There was literally billions of these termites inside of the chimney. Why? Because the chimney cap was leaking and it was holding water inside of the chimney. So it had, it was, the, the, the termites had a water source. They had no reason to leave. Another big surprise, while we were doing this remodel, we were removing a closet and we found some electrical wires that were literally taped together. Like, it's the craziest thing. So there was a light switch here. And right up here, about three feet, about, I don't know, 12 inches above the light switch, there was two pieces of wiring, Romex wiring, going to the switch that were literally electrical taped together instead of being in a junction box, which is code. They just, I mean, it must've been a Friday. They, they, were, they ran, they were one foot short on their wire. So instead of running a whole new wire, they just pieced a little one foot section together. Ultimately, that wouldn't have been enough to scare me, but then we removed another wall next to it and holy shit, we found a like rat's nest of wires all electrical taped together. At that point, we had to make the decision to go ahead and rewire the whole home. After we found the termites and everything, we had to get a we had to get a full blown general contractor in. We had a handyman doing some of the minor stuff, right? They can do drywall patches and, and this, that, and the other, fixing some wood rot here and there. But at that point, we had to bring a general contractor in to make sure that all the repairs that he was doing were done up to code to make sure everything was legit as far as all the work that was done. You want to use a larger company, you know, especially for timing. If you're going to do a complete remodel and a complete gut on a house, you want to make sure the guy you hire is a, has a crew, right? You don't need to hire a one-man band to come in and do a remodel if you're, like, still living in the old house. You're paying that mortgage. You're paying the mortgage on the new property, right? Like, so you're paying double mortgage. It, it pays to have a, a crew that's big enough to get the job done in a timely manner because every day it was costing money. Better to wait until they have enough saved up to do it right. There are some jobs when you're doing a remodel that you did are do it yourself, right? You can change out some lights, you can do some of the minor stuff, but I my recommendation is, you know, if you've got the equity in the house or like if it's not a house you're just moving into but you're deciding to do a remodel, get a home equity line of credit. Make make sure you've got the money set aside for those issues that may pop up and that so you can hire the right people to get the job done.